G'day, Schnauzer Hunter here. Today, we're going to go through how to get into the Schnauzer Hunting game. Now, you might think to yourself, mate, I could never get to the level you are as a Schnauzer Hunter, but you can. And today, we're going to start off the most important part of being a Schnauzer Hunter or Schnauzer Poacher is identifying things that are Schnauzers and things that are not Schnauzers. It's real embarrassing. You tell a fella you got a couple of Schnauzers in the back of your van for sale. Turns out one of them's a Labrador, the other was just seven cats taped together. You want to avoid these pitfalls, and today I'm going to get you guys started on how to identify your schnauzers from your non-schnauzers. Now this is not a schnauzer, this is a rock. Now it can be tough to tell the difference between a schnauzer and a rock, often the colouring is quite similar. But you'll find the big difference between a schnauzer and a rock is if you throw a stick to a schnauzer, it will at least attempt to pick up the stick, but a rock will not. So let's see here guys, come on, come on boy, come on, come on! See, does fuck all. That's because it's a rock. Rock, not a schnauzer. If you're ever confused, throw a stick at it. Oh, wait, wait. We've got a schnauzer. No, this is not a schnauzer. This is a picture of a schnauzer. You can tell a real schnauzer would be far more 3D. Well, this schnauzer is very flat. That's how we know this is not a schnauzer but a picture of a schnauzer. And that's my old friend, poacher mate, Scotty Sticky Fingers Schnauzer McGee. Yeah, he was a classic bro. I remember that schnauzer he grabbed that day. That yeah, was a good schnauzer as well. But a picture of a schnauzer, not a real schnauzer. This is very important. If you don't want to be stealing someone's laptop, you want to be stealing a schnauzer. People get really pissed off when you steal their laptops instead of their schnauzers. Yeah, this is a book. It's not a schnauzer. Sometimes books can be about schnauzers, and you can have those tricky not schnauzers in the, inside the book, which is the photograph of the schnauzer. Don't grab a schnauzer book thinking you'll grab lots of schnauzers. It's just a book about schnauzers with flat schnauzers. Schnauzers. Ah. <laughs> schnauzers. Schnauzers. You say that word too many times. It's hard to keep up. Now, this book is about how to cook schnauzers seven different ways. You don't want to do cooking schnauzers before you sell them to the schnauzer buyer. Because as much as everyone loves a delicious schnauzer-based meal, you want the live schnauzers that work far more than a cooked schnauzer, even if it is seven different ways. So, Jamie, no. We want our schnauzers alive and uncooked. Remember that. And don't buy a schnauzer book and try to sell it off as a schnauzer. People will spot the difference. All right. Just got inside the house here. I think I have spotted what I thought was a schnauzer because it was grey and moving past the house. But I really suspect what I saw was a car. Now a car and a schnauzer are different in slightly different ways. A car a bit bigger, it's a little faster, and if a car runs into you, you're gonna die as opposed to a schnauzer. It's kind of a little annoying. Here we go. Oh, that, that's a car. That's a car. Oh, maybe. No, that's a, that's a car. Oh well, yeah, lots of cars out here. No schnauzers. Remember, car, a little bigger, will kill you if it runs into you. Schnauzer, a little smaller, probably be a little annoying if it runs into your ankle. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that short guide to what is a schnauzer and what is not a schnauzer. As you can see, there's lots of non-schnauzers out there. It's a very tough world to get involved with spotting real schnauzers. Well, that's the real key to it, and I couldn't find any schnauzers today, but there's plenty of examples of not schnauzers. Very sneaky, those not schnauzers, so you've got to be... Oh, God damn! Wait, oh, I think I spotted a schnauzer here! Give me a second, guys. Just go off with my camera. Oh, I don't know how technology works. I'm... Why don't, you, why don't you bloody go around? Sorry guys, I'm 37, this takes a while. Oh, I'm gonna make it work here. That's not a schnauzer though. I thought I saw a schnauzer, but there we go. It's actually the outline of a dog on a yellow background. So, looks like a schnauzer. Two, four legs, nose, ears, but subtly you'll notice that it's tiny, it's black, and it's on a little plastic thing. Don't grab these. They don't like it when you steal signs around Palmerston North. Trust me on that one. I'm not going to go back to jail for schnauzer hunting or stealing any more signs off houses thinking it's schnauzers. Where it's actually just a sign of a schnauzer. Well, there we go, guys. I hope you learned something new about schnauzer hunting today. Then you see me next week for how you spot the difference between a Labrador and a laboratory. Until then, have a good Christmas.